Well, hello there, my friends. I need to show you guys something. Check out this basement. You see it? You like it? Probably not good because I'm going to remodel it. I don't think this basement has been touched for over 50 years. I think it's about time that we give it some TLC, make it look a little nice in here, make it look a little brighter, more uplifting, and just overall more welcoming. It's also really musty smelling in here, so we want to get rid of that smell. We're going to get everything off of the shelves so that we can begin tearing down these walls. I'm going to tear down that side as well, and then hopefully this area will be semi ready for a good power wash because boy does it actually need to be power washed and then after there are some good looking walls back there as much as i like it i want to paint it maybe we can give it some nice good bright colors maybe a nice beautiful white nice and clean so that way when cole or i come downstairs to do some good old laundry we won't want to run out of here as fast as we can we'll be able to relax and get the laundry in and make sure everything is good and we might not even have to bend down anymore to get some laundry detergent because it's on the floor we might have that on a nice little table over here or some shelves or something we have a lot of cleaning to do a lot of tearing down to do i better stop talking because talking isn't gonna get the work done so vamanos now these might not be the best work gloves but it's what i got it's what i'm gonna use something that i'm really worried about working down here and not gonna lie has been running through my head this entire time i seriously don't want to run into any spiders i think a lot of you guys may know i am terrified of spiders i don't know what the deal is i can't get over it they scare me. They're really hairy looking, crawly looking, fast. I don't like them, so please wish me luck. Hopefully you don't see any spiders as we're doing this. Otherwise, you guys might see some spider dancing, and that does not look pretty. <gasps> Here we go. having technical issues I was using this cart to try to haul as many jars as I could out of the way but the wheel just broke we're just gonna have to do it one by one oh well We got the majority of the stuff out of the shelves. I know it doesn't seem like that was a lot of work, but that took me about an hour and a half to get all of those jars from this room to the other room. No, absolutely not. <laughs> this is going in the trash. These are moments where I wish I was a little taller, but I'm not, so I'm using my resources. off of this shelf now and there's nothing on these shelves anymore so now here comes the exciting part but the scary part because we don't know what kind of creatures are living underneath this shelf i am praying and i am hoping no spiders let's just get to taryn here we go that's a lot harder than i was expecting these things are pretty sturdy okay i need to talk to cole first wow you've got a lot done yeah you should see the other room. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> so we gotta be careful not to hit that white pipe. That's a drainage pipe. That'd be kind of gross if that broke. I made you clean that one up. <laughs> other than that, you should just build a private thing apart with grow bar. Look how sturdy this thing is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna figure it out. This one start at the bottom. Probably your way out. All the way up, all the way down. So some of them you can wedge behind like this and pull. And then others, if you can't get into it, just put it in there, take your hammer. You're gonna wanna get behind that. Same thing, get your crowbar in here, pry them apart, and then this comes over, and then you should be able to just pull that out. And then this here, honestly, if you just grab it in the middle, pull it towards you, you should be able to tip it right off. Okay, what do you think so far? You're making good headway. You think so? Mm -hmm. A lot of work to go yet. But it's coming. Okay, this is a lot harder than I was expecting. Ooh, a lot harder. In this 
moment, I'm thinking to myself, I still have all of these other boards to go and I can't even get this one board done. But you know what? I'm better than this, so we're gonna keep going. It was a lot more work than I was expecting. Holy smokes, this one is not wanting to come down. It is hard. completely honest with you guys when I asked Cole to come down here to give me some guidance I was thinking I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this like I really don't think I have the strength to like pull these things out I, I didn't even know how to use a crowbar <laughs> I know it's so silly, but I didn't know how to use a crowbar. But you know what? Now I have a big old pile of boards here on the ground because I was able to actually get it done. I don't even know how I'm gonna tackle that. So I'm gonna start working on this one over here and seeing what I can do to get it down. Maybe it's just right at the top. That might be a good idea. shelf to do left and then that cupboard over there but that is a lot of wood it is dusty downstairs so I'm gonna let that kind of settle down a little bit but in the meantime it looks like Cole's ripping around in the yard on the bike he got my bike out too you guys know what that means I'm gonna go ride for a little bit remember guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe hit that bell notification and stay tuned to see that basement remodel we'll see you in the next one